Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and of course where we go into Chandelar. And um, wasn't I in the middle of a mission? I think I was in the middle of a mission. I think I got my trike number four and I just got a Mishra's workshop, right? So I think I'm going to make a green artifact deck with channel or something. That could be cool. Yeah, let's do that actually. Let's load the game. Timmy goes green. And uh, let's have a look. So let's start building that deck. But before I start building, first, of course, a message from our great sponsor, 3 for 1 Trading. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high end magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy, and yes, yes, old school magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured, and fast worldwide shipping on all their high end singles, full sets, and out of print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and uh, we are back and let's start building, right? So we've got this deck. You can do three decks in total. We've got my mono green deck and then we've got my deck also mono green, but with bigger creatures. I think I'm just gonna empty this one. Cancel, uh, move colors out. Okay, so green and let's not do the artifacts. Let's see. Wooden sphere can go out. Maybe start with the artifacts actually. Or with the mana base. I should probably start with the mana base. That's easiest. Um, okay, let me think. I've got a strip mine. I've got four factories and a library of Alexandria. They should stay. Of course, I got to add maybe a desert could be handy. Um... Gore's the Mishra's Workshop. So I've got one, two, six, eight lands. You want to have at least 22 lands. So if I have eight of these, I need 14 forests. Let's do that. Let's do 14 forests if I can find them. So there we go. So we just got to click, click, click. I think there's no other way. I think you just really have to click for each one, but it goes pretty fast. So we've got 14 forests. Maybe I should do 15 and then it'll do an extra uh, strip mine. So I've got two, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I've got 24 lands. Well, let's have a look at the trikes. I think a brass mine could be quite good, actually. I'm, I'm gonna play two brass mine. Maybe I'll regret it, who knows. Mmm, clay statue. Maybe two of those. I think Dancing Scimitars are good. I'm gonna play three. One Colossus. And of course I'm gonna play the Trikes. Hopefully I've got four Triskelions. Gonna play the Tome as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, there are the Trikes. Yoshin soldiers are good, actually. Um, Yoshins or clay statues? That's a bit of a choice. You know what? I'm going to play two Yoshins as well. You know what? I'll just put four in. I can always I like take them out later. Um, Aladdin's ring was really bad, right? I tried that out at the start. Remember, it was really bad. Um, Howling Mine could be cool. Ivory, I could go like Ivory Tower, Howling Mines, like try to get a lot of value, but I just don't have enough mines and towers yet. I'm just going to play the one Howling Mine. Um, what the difficult thing is, and, 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 and I can read that in the comments too, where people go, I don't really see where you're going with the deck or what's your idea, or you need more of that or more of this. I simply just only have these cards, of course, to work with. So it's kind of hard to make like, to have one complete deck idea. You know what I mean? I think channel could be really cool with uh, with all the artifacts. Talking about channel, do I have the rocket launcher? Let's see, do I have a rocket launcher? I don't. Oh, that's annoying. For some reason, I thought I had a rocket launcher. Okay, but I don't. Um, what creatures do I really need? I feel Desert Twister is a good one. Uh, Dirkwood Bors, because they only have one green in the casting cost. Lanower Elves for ramping, right? 
Because everything here costs a ton of mana to cast, so... Okay, so we're at 55. Um, I guess we should go for Tranquility, right? Maybe even two. How many creatures do we have? Let's have a look. Four, six, eight, 11, 12, 16, 18, 22. We've got 22 creatures, so that, that should be enough. And we've got, of course, the um, factories. We don't have a lot of flyers, though, so maybe I should add Cockatrice as well. Hmm. The hardest part of magic, making choices. Um, let's do a Cockatrice. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add Living Artifact. Living Artifact should be good because I have a lot of targets now. I know what you're thinking. Living Artifact is really bad. I know, but Life Gain and Chandelar is really good. I'm even thinking about maybe adding a Stream of Life. Maybe over Ivory Tower, like add a Stream of Life instead. You know what? I'm just, I'm going to leave it like this. Maybe, maybe the deck's really bad. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, but I'm going to give it a try. Buy cards, nothing here. Um, black cards, take the card to Andor's Hole. Okay, so, okay, Andor's Hole's really close. Let's go to Andor's Hole. Let's do it. Trade white amulets for black cards. I don't really need that. Um, let's have a look at the dungeons. Ooh, this one's nice. Uh, West of Hornwall Glade. I really want to have the emerald. No black cards allowed. Life loss carried over. Bad moon in effect. Okay, I can, I can, I can work with that. Uh, Mount of the Warrior King. Let me just check again. West of Hornwall Glade. So I'm super bad with the map, as you probably know if you're following this series. So <laughs> please, uh, you know, pardon my French. I'm probably not going to find it, but um, Hornwall Glade is here. It's really close. I'm going to go to Hornwall Glade. I'm going to do it. Let's venture to Hornwall Glade. A news flash: Archangel attacking Croc Hole. Okay, where's Croc Hole? All the way over there. Oh, man. Why are they always going the other direction? Take this message east to my brother. Where's Sephir's shrine? Where is Sephir's shrine? I don't see it. Oh, it's all the way there. I gotta go the other way though. I can't do it. So the question is, am I going to try to defeat this dude with my brand new deck that I haven't tested at all? Am I going to do that? Um, you know what I'll do? I'll accept the quest, take the mana link, and then test my deck, and then I'll free the, 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 the village. There we go. I can, I can test against you. Altakesh. That's perfect. Let's see if this deck is good enough. Play first. I've got 25 life. That's like a lot. Okay, I've got Soul Ring. Oh, Library of Alexandria. Yeah. This is... I just gotta wait. I just gotta take it easy. I'm gonna draw extra cards. This is a really... Well, I mean, I got a lot of lands, but apart from that, it's a good opener. Uh, let's draw a card. There we go. Ooh. Look at that, and I've got a Brass Man. Shall I play a Brass Man? Now I should play Soul Ring. I should play Soul Ring. I do like Brass Man. I think Brass Man's good. Let me know, let me know how you feel about Brass Man. I, I think Brass Man's good. A one, three for one. That's his good stats. Um, okay, let's go library. Let's draw a card. Maybe I should play Singleton. That would be fun. Singleton and Chandelier. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go Brass Man. I'm going to use my Soul Ring mana for it because I'm going to attack with the Factory. Exactly. Let's put the Factory over here. I'm going to attack with it. And of course, I'm going to pump it with the other Factory. Pump the Worker! 
So far, I'm really impressed with my deck. <clears throat> Famous last words. <laughs> I mean, it's looking good. I got like, I can play forest. I can, oh man, that's a big blocker. That is an icy wall. That is annoying. Okay, let me just first draw a card, then draw a card for turn with, or an extra card with the Loa. I mean, that is of course a problem with these colors. It's really hard to get rid of things. Um, let's go one, two, three, and the last one. And pass a turn. I remember going to my nephew and we had a card box full of magic cards and we would just then play and we would all just pick cards out of the card box, you know, one at a time. And I would always like pick Wall of Ice and Living Wall. Like I thought, okay, those are really good because then nobody can uh, can deal damage to me. Um, there we go. Ooh. So now we have this channel, right? Which is kind of interesting. I guess channel is really bad if I go into a dungeon though, but it's, it's fun to try out. Um, what should I do? I probably, I don't have enough mana to play a trike. That is unfortunate. I should probably just play out the scimitar. And I'm going to play out the Lana or else because the next turn I have enough mana to play the trike. Yeah, this sim I think Scimitar is so good. This perfect blocker for the Phantasmal Forces. And just a 1-5 for 4. What I really like um, about Arabian Nights is that the power level of the creatures is really higher than in the other, like, 93-94 sets. And it's a, bit of, it, it's a bit of a bummer that they didn't, like, took Arabian Nights as the standard for creature power. I think that would have been good for the, for the old school pool if they would have done that, but... But well, it is what it is. Uh, draw an extra card, gonna play this. Um, I could just go trike, kill some stuff. Maybe I should do that, let's go trike. I think I'm gonna kill the Phantasmal Forces. Right, and then I can attack with the Scimitar, why not? You know what, I might as well, because I mean, it's an 07, right? I might as well just attack with, with the rest of the team. It's probably going to block exactly the Dirkwood. Take a little bit of damage. Ooh, and I've got another trike. Ooh, that's interesting, actually. Because if he blocks again on the Dirkwood, there's four damage. Ooh, a Modi, Papa Modi. Ay, 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 that's a problem. I think the big problem of this deck, obviously, is that it's really difficult to just get rid of things. That's really a problem. Um, what shall I do with the Papa Modi? Um, I've got a trike in hand. I've got another trike in hand. I could channel out two trikes, take 12 damage. That's a pretty cool thing to do, right? But I'm first going to, if I'm going to do that anyway, I'm going to tap a green. Put a living artifact on Sol Ring. Now I'm going to channel. Oh, this is going to be fun. So now I've got my channel effect. So the cool thing about channel is it lasts the entire turn. One. No, no, get mana. Get mana. Okay, uh, I'm going to play a trike, tap six, oh no, did I turn my assembly worker, oh man, the thing with these assembly workers, I always misclick, how much generic mana do I want, I want to have nine, because I'm going to use another trike, I'm going to cast another trike, yeah, now this is fun, um, Shall I then just attack with the Dirkwood Boar, see what he does? Because then it's only going to cost me two. Oh, life is difficult. I could also just kill it and then attack with the rest. That's probably better. One, two, three, four, 
Five. It's like I'm killing him, actually, because he's a djinn. Six. Done. Whoa, there he goes. Um, and then I am... Oh, I could even... I could even play the other two Yoshin soldiers. I'm, I'm going off my, um, my Loa plan anyway. Let's just do it. I can see how channel is going to be problematic for uh, when I hit the dungeon, but who cares? For now, it's fun. Right? I mean, this is... I, I haven't used channel for this in a long time. Yes, we know channel fireball, but this is just a lot of fun. Okay, now he's on nine. The thing is, I keep forgetting that in Chandelar, you can just play a zillion channels, right? So channel fireball is really good in this format. I'm so I'm so used to these cards being restricted. I don't even think about adding more than one. Oh no, another one! Oh, that's a little bit problematic. Uh oh. That is a little. Oh, I got a Colossus. That is so cool. That is so cool. Okay, I gotta think. He can attack me. Put me on five. And then I can just attack with everything, right? What if I attack with everything now? Would that work? He would block probably my two two, right? And I would. I think I'm just going to attack with everything. I think that's better. Maybe not my Dancing Scimitar. Oh, he's blocking my Dirkwood. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. This is actually really good because now I can kill him. Um, oh, and I blo I tapped my Lawnower. That is stupid. That is stupid. That is not smart. Because I tapped my Lawnower, I can no longer cast my Colossus. So if I would have just kept it untapped. Junon! Oh, and a wall. Wow. He's got good defenses. Okay, let's... No, I'm not going to untap the Brass Man because I want to cast the Colossus. Let's play the Colossus. Oh, I'm so looking forward to attack with the Colossus next turn. Let's go. Let's just let's check it out. Let's see what he does. Go Colossus! Oh, he's gonna block on two walls. Um. So somebody told me you can actually put all the damage on one and then he takes exactly takes the excess trample damage. So in hindsight, if I would have attacked with everything, he would have been dead already. So that's uh, it's a bit of a mistake on my part. Wow, so many wolves. But I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Let's untap this bad boy. Okay, we're just going to attack with everything. Including my empty trikes and my dancing sword. Yay, winning the game. Buy cards, Lanawar Elves Clays. I think I'm gonna buy a Lanawar. Why? If I lose a Lanawar in a battle, I've got backup. So let's just quickly go here and then we're gonna go battle that dude. Ah, uh, accept tribute for your mercy. Okay. Secrets from the Black Castle. Sure. Contains large black creatures. Okay. Life loss carried over. Remaining life added to the next duel. Greed permanently in effect. Nice. Trade black amulets for any fast effect. Do I still need the lightning bolt? Let's quickly go to deck one. Yes, I need a lightning bolt. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can get a bolt. A lightning bolt. Yes, I'll trade. Only one amulet for a bolt? Awesome. Is there anything in green that I'm looking for? Natural Selection is a cool card. 
Oh, that's the thing. If because of the rarity, you got to pay so much for it, which is unfortunate. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. It's good. It's good enough. Um, any fast effect? It's really tempting, but I gotta go to the uh, the village that's under attack. There we go. Duel the Archangel. I feel like this is the real test for the artifact deck, right? Okay, I'm. 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 Okay, cockatrice. Forest, Tranquility, Yoshin Soldier, Yoshin Soldier, Strip Mine, Living Artifact. Okay. Not quite sure how I feel about this hand. I mean, I got a lot of Yoshin Soldiers. And I've got to turn one Living Artifact. You're probably thinking when you're watching this, why is he playing Living Artifact? I, I, I just want to play Living Artifact. Maybe I can make like a Vajuran Enchantress deck with Living Artifact. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go Desert and I'm going to pass. I don't want to strip anything because I kind of need the mana, I feel. Ah, Tranquility Living Artifact is a bit of a non-bow as well, I now realize. Onulet hitting the board, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, Mishra's Workshop. I can start playing out those early. But you know what? I'm just going to first... Cast a Yochen Soldier to Fairway. This was nicknamed Toy Soldier by the production team. For your information. Oh, Wrath of God. Okay, sure. I love those little combos, right? With Wrath of God, Soul Nets, Onulets. It's very cute, you know? It's kind of an innocent time of magic. Um, let's... Play. Shall I play another one? Or. You know what? I'm going to play Jam Day Tome. I'm going to play Jam Day Tome, and then next turn I can play Yoshin Soldier with the um, Workshop, and then I've got four mana to draw a card with the Jam Day Tome. Another Soul Net? Really? You've got three Soul Nets. How many are you playing? Maybe he just made a deck with Wrath of God and Soul Nets. That's it. Uh, okay, let's see. What am I going to do? So I'm going to play this one. I'm going to use my workshop for the Yochen. And I'm going to pass the turn because I'm going to be a professional. I'm going to use my Tome on his end step. That's what all those the deck players always do that I have to play against. Like they control the whole board and have like a billion books. On your end step. Oh, God. Another wrath. What? Okay, let me now draw a card because he's in his end step. One, two, three, four. Let's draw. Okay, I guess I guess I just have to win it through Oh, this is a little bit annoying though. If I animate, I cannot draw a card. I think I'd rather draw a card. Oh, I can play Cockatrice. That's even a better option. Didn't even see that. Okay, let's go Cockatrice. Uh, pass turn. Ooh, the Hive. That's so annoying. Um, boom, 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 boom. You know what? I'm just going to go Forest. Uh, let me put the Factory. I think I'm just going to go and attack. Change to assembly worker. Swing in for four. Finally deal some damage. And now I'm going to pass the turn and hopefully remember to draw a card on end step. Ooh, there's a factory. Okay, there's a forest. Another tome. Okay, this I think now because I have the... Um, Ivory Tower, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to play out too many cards anymore. Let's attack first. I think, though, what I'm going to do, and I, 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 I know I said I'm not going to play out too much, but I want to strip 
the man land. Also because if he then invests um, more mana in making a hive token, then that's all that he can do. Uh, let's pass a turn and I'm just gonna draw again another card on end step. I like this green artifact control. Is that a thing? Yeah, sure man, deal the damage. I don't mind. Oh, I could have killed it with the desert. I guess I guess I'd rather have a card anyway, so. Um, okay, so I want to do, and again, I'm playing out a card without thinking. Don't auto-tap this card. Um, I'm going to change to assembly worker. And I'm going to attack again. The thing is, you don't want to get these... Uh, wasp tokens, you don't want to get them them to go out of hand. That's what I'm trying to say. So, And now I've got enough mana as well to draw another card with the Tome. So this is kind of perfect. Ooh, Tetravis. That is a good card. That is a good card. Okay, I'm going to draw another one. Done. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to offer to trade. Here we go, people. Okay, okay. You don't want to take it? Okay. Um, let's draw another card so you see what we get. Trike is good. Trike is... Can I play Trike, really? I can. Wow. But I want to, I want to keep it for a surprise. I think I'm going to go now for the Ivory Tower. I feel I'm ready for that now. There's a counter on here, isn't there? View in full card. How, how can I see? Show all card, no. Show ID tags. Wow, that's flippy. I don't want to see the ID tags. Oh, these, these ID tags are really annoying me. I don't, I don't want to see the ID tags. How can I get rid of that again? Okay, good. Because I think, to be honest, there's a counter on Living Artifact, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there's a counter, so I can activate it. Gain a life! Yay! Um, okay, anyway, draw another card and gaining life from the tower. So, so now the deck's really working, right? Um, what is wisdom here? I think I'm just gonna attack with the cockatrice. Let's see, Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, okay. Let's do trike three, four, five, and six. Let's play the trike. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna play more because I still want to gain life next turn. She's low though, she's on nine. I might as well just attack with the cockatrice again. Another one? Oh, this is getting problematic. Um, I gotta draw a card. Tap one, yeah. Ooh, a library of Alexandria. Things keep getting better and better and better. Um Let's play Loa. Let's draw a card. I, I kind of feel like I should attack. If he if he blocks on the Tetravis, we're gonna trade. Am I okay with that? I actually I think I am. Still not blocking. Okay, sure. Um, what is Wisdom? Let's go Scimitar. Because then I have another blocker in the air. I think that's good. Uh, let's make some space because here you can see that card. Um, this one don't auto-tap. It's going to be tough though. Like she's on seven. So I'm now thinking, do I want to use my trike counters to kill the wasps? I don't think so. I only need to kind of push one more damage through and I can kind of 
be safe. Okay, let me do forest and draw a card just to see what I get. Another cockatrice. Okay, this is really good. I'm just going to attack. Let, let's see. If she doesn't block, she's on five. I can kill her. Okay, she doesn't block. Okay, let's 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 go for it. One, two, and three. So now to two. Exactly. Now we're going to play the trike. I'm 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 kind of thinking that we're going to see a healing solve. You know, I know she I think she plays those as well. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I've won it. Okay. That's unexpected. I was really expecting somebody to have like bam bam bam, you know, and still lose, but that's unexpected. That's good. That's good news. Okay. Um Let's save because the game is uber glitchy. Uh, brainwash, let's just sell this stuff. Zephyr Falcon, bye bye Falcon. Um, the deck is not too shabby. Let's buy cards, what am I looking for? Uh, Untamed Wilds, I have four of these, right? This is buy, I, I, I can't remember. I do think that probably taking a deck with channel in it into into a dungeon is not good, but I'm just going to, before I go into the dungeon, I can walk a little, but we can walk around a little bit, right? Um, we had to go to Hornwell Glade. Am I correct? Let me just check. Yeah, Hornwell Glade. Okay, west of Hornwell Glade. Okay, so I'm just going to continue going towards Hornwell Glade. Trade green amulets for any enchantment. Is there any enchantment I need? Do I need an enchantment? Um, not really. Maybe a sylvan, another sylvan in green? Would that be good? Wild growth could be useful. Let me get some wild growths. I think... I think that maybe I can make it for Journey Chandra's deck. Defeat the Warlock. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I just, I think I'm just gonna go to, um, to Hornwall Glade. Leave the village. Onwards to Hornwall Glade. Onwards we go. Enchantress. Duel anyway, because actually Enchantress, and I want to practice, and I want to win that Wild Growth. And I know I sound like a broken record, but again, with Wild Growth, I really like the original art by Mark Poole. I actually have it, oh, I should have asked him to sign it when it was um, at the uh, GP in Amsterdam. That's stupid. Okay, I've got Channel, Trike, Forest, Forest, Strip, Mine, Desert, Desert Twister. Okay, this is a cool hand because I can do Turn 2 Trike. That's going to be awesome. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I know it's going to cost me six life. I don't care. It's just too much fun. What I love about Chandelar is I'm like making decks in here that I now want to make in like the real world as well. You know, where I think, oh, channel and artifacts is so cool. Ah, uh, let me go. This one. Let's attack. Maybe I should have gone strip, strip, uh, strip a forest because I'm so far ahead now on board. Then again, with Factory, I can start attacking next turn, play the other Factory, pump it into a 3-3, three, three, deal 7, put him on 3, kill him actually with the Trike. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's see if the Enchantress understands the necessity to block. If she doesn't block, I can kill her because I can deal 7 damage, I can pump it, and then the final 3 can be dealt by the Trike. So I really wonder if the AI kind of sees this. Ah, the AI does. The AI does. Okay. Good for you, AI. 
You're smarter than I thought you would be. Uh, okay, let's go this one. Let's play Dirkwood Boars. But now I can I can kill her. One. Oh. No 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 no! Is he now dealing damage to himself? Oh, you really? Can I cancel this? I can't. Okay. You're very lucky, um, Enchantress, that I am really stupid. And, and, and still misclick so often in this game. Oh no, living! Oh, really? Uh, let me just kill this. And then it's still game. I'm just gonna attack you with Dirkwood Boars. Hey, I won these cards. That's pretty cool. Oh, another channel. I gotta get it. I gotta make, I gotta make this channel deck. Uh, let's buy some food. Let's see where I am. Hornwall Glade. Upwards we go. What's the quest? Green amulet. Nah, nah. I can, I can get green amulets later. Ooh, the Fungus Master. The Fungus Master is not offering me any tribute? See that as an insult, Fungus Master. Okay, so I've got Clay Statue, Bunch of Forests, Lanawar Elves, and Factory. It's not too shabby. I mean, I got a turn one play. Clay Statue is four. Maybe I can cast it a turn early. I can go Factory next turn, swing in for one if he doesn't play anything. Okay, there we go. It's not too shabby. I should be coming closer now, right? To the, uh, to the dungeon that we're uh, trying to find. Okay, there we go. Let's go. I could go factory and I've got four for clay statue, yeah. And next turn I can go cockatrice. Oh, an unsummon. Unsummon is actually one of my favorite blue cards. I've got it in the sideboard when I play against mono black with the uh, hypnotic specter. And it's also really good against green stompy decks where they go Giant Grove, Berserk, and all that stuff. And you go, okay, unsummoned. They never see it coming because it's 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 not really played anymore in today's uh, in today's game. Let's go cockatrice. Ah, Wall of Wood. You gotta love people who play with Wall of Wood. That really takes me back to the early days of Magic. It's really a playground Magic card, Wall of Wood. Hey, Timmy! That is awesome. Well, it's not awesome for me right now, but I love it. I love it nonetheless. And of course, Timmy goes very good, well with the Fungusaur. Uh, I might as well attack because he's going to die anyway. Okay, let me think. I've been a little bit stupid because I should have attacked with the factories as well. I can play Clay Statue, but it's going to die to the Tim. So... I should have done Mishra's Workshop, uh, play Clay Statue, and have Regeneration Mana open. Instead, I was stupid, and that means that all I can do now is pass the turn. Oh, look at that value. The Tim is killing my Lanawer. This makes me want to play with my Timmy Spellbook again. Carnivorous plant. Funny story about carnivorous plant. I'm probably repeating myself in these series, by the way, with all these facts, sorry. But when carnivorous plant came out, it was the first wool that didn't have wool in its name. So people were so confused, they thought they could attack with the carnivorous plant, despite the fact that it's a summon wool. But um, of course, that was that on the, on the text? It was probably a summon carnivorous plant, right, in the dark. Anyway, people didn't understand that it was actually a wool. 
Uh, okay, so I could go clay statue, but I mean, that's not really going to help me, is it? Man, this is going to take long. You know what? I am going to play out the clay statue. Because I can regenerate it twice, so that's fine. And then maybe next turn I somehow have an attack with the clay statue in a factory. That could be beneficial. I, I don't know. I do not know. I wonder if the AI is now constantly going to try to kill the statue because it's got one toughness. In a way, the Tim is now tapping down two of my lands on its own, which is pretty powerful. My hand's rubbish, by the way. Forced, forced desert. Ooh, a tree folk. Oh, man. This is not good. I'm getting into trouble. Uh, let's attack. The only thing I have going for me is this flyer. That's all that I have. Uh, I'm just going to play the desert. Why not? I have to say, my deck is very defensive now that I think about it. Yoshin Soldier, Brass Man, um, Dancing Scimitar. Actually, I could play Fungusaur in combination with Triskelion. That would be pretty cool. Do I have Trikes? Uh, sorry, Fungusaurs. I don't know. I wonder. Ooh, nice! Howling Mine! That's always fun. Um, but let me think. What is Wisdom? Let me just first attack. Let me play Howling Mine with Mishra's Workshop. And just take, take a point of damage. Again, another story I've probably told is that the Workshop, I once traded it when it was 11, maybe 12, in uh, Utrecht, a city in the Netherlands. As a small boy, and uh, I, I believe I gave a Vesuvian double ganger revised for the for the uh, workshop. It was a really big trade. And in those days, you had a lot of people who didn't really believe that those cards would go anywhere. Antiquities and 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 like the four horsemen sets, they were like, okay, core set cards will always be able to be played, but at a certain point, we want to have the newer cards. Ooh, this rod of ruin is annoying. So it was really like a different a different mindset back then, the way they looked at old cards. Whoa, it's on five. Let's play it out. So again, I'm in this situation where, yes, strike can, can be good, for example, to kill a Tim, but he's so low. If I can just get one more attack in with the Cockatrice... I can actually kill him with the tri counters. Regeneration, sweet. Is he now gonna attack with his Iron Root Tree Folk with regeneration? What a badass. Yes, of course he is. Tap two, yes. Choose blockers. I think Yoshin Soldier is ideal. Unsummon. Oh, that's a mistake, buddy. Dear Fungus Master, the worst target ever to unsummon is the trike. That is like, <laughs> that is the worst thing you can do. But I am fine, man, if that's what you want to do in life. I think it actually doesn't matter because I'm going to fly over with the cockatrice. Hey, I won these cards. Ice Storm, pretty nice. Typhoon. I like it. Accept tributes. 150 gold. I think I have all world magics already. Hornwall Village. Okay, so... Oh, no. Hornwall Glade. And then it said... Was it west of Hornwall Glade? West of the Glade. Okay, so... And what's in there again? No black cards allowed. Life loss carried over. Bad moon in effect. Okay, so I guess I should... Let's go to this deck. Probably should put those lightning bolts in, or at least one more. One extra bolt. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, tranquilities are good because of that stuff. Um, I could take out the untamed. Just keep the Llanowar Elves in. Sylvan out, because I mean, everything that, that costs life, you're probably not going to do anything with it. Okay, do I have any anti-black cards? That's also a question. I think force is... Would it be good there? It's slow. Do I have a Whirling Dervish? Yay, we got a Whirling Dervish. That's awesome. Um, what else could be useful? Tranquility, because we have that extra bad moon. Maybe Sandstorm. Were there a lot of small creatures in there? Then again, with bad moon, Sandstorm is not going to do much. Stream of life, perhaps. Gain some life. That could work. Uh, maybe I should just play with Ivory Tower as well. Giant Groves. I got no Giant Groves in there. Could go for Giant Grove. Hmm. Drop of Honey is a good card against early threats. I could go with that because my deck's quite slow. Let's let's give it a try. What does it say again? Contains small black creatures. Yeah, okay. So, so my deck is slow, but then again, I've got a lot of... A lot of stuff against it, right? I mean, I got a lot of really big creatures. Maybe they're too slow. But big creatures are fun. You know, that's the problem that I have. I love big creatures. Um, cause if he has a lot of smaller creatures, then Brassman is actually a really good card. I think I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take out the force. I think I'm gonna take out. You know what? The ice storms probably are not gonna do that much because he's playing with small creatures. So, and then I can put the extra bolt in. Am I overthinking this dungeon? Maybe. Okay, lightning bolt. And I wonder if I have the the one that counters black spells. Um, life Force. Yeah, I got Life Force. I got a lot of Life Force. Let's put two Life Force in there. Um, but then I got to take something out. Oh, uh, what to take out? I'm going to take out Berserk. Okay, I, want, I wonder if this actually works, but okay. Um, a green amulet, north to my brother. Mardrake something. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go it's too far. It's too far. I'm going to Harnwell Glade, you man. You madman. Oh, there's the dungeon. Oh, we're gonna go into the dungeon. Oh, I love this. Okay, bad moon in effect. I can win the mox here, the mox emerald. I like the art of Mox Emerald the most, I think, of all the Moxen. Uh, what special ability does Willow the Wisp have? Uh, that is a flying creature with regeneration. Hmm. Okay, let's do another question. What is the total casting cost of Phantasmal Forces? That's one blue and three. Yes. Oh, there's a dice here, then I can get Another question. Or I could do the dice. I'm going to do the dice in the question. Oh, Shiva, next turn. That's awesome. Next game. What is the toughness of the time elemental? The toughness is two. It's an O2 creature. Oh, wow. There's a treasure. Let's go. Wow. I got a Shiva and I can win a treasure. I am a lucky man. Okay, play first. Start the duel. Um, let's go. What do I have in hand, by the way? Cockatrice, Mountain, Crawworm, Stream of Life, Life Force, 
You know what? I'm going to go forest. I should have played Taiga, by the way, because then I could have gone Taiga, Pump, the Shivan. Ah, oh, mistake. Mistake so early in the game already. Next turn, I'm going to play up my life force. Try to protect my Shivan with my life force. Uh-oh. A bit scorpion. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Let's play out life force. Bit scorpion, is that the one with poison counters? It is. But I'm gonna attack nonetheless. Yeah, I'm gonna take a single hit from the from the scorpion probably, but then I'm just gonna finish uh, the game. Yeah, pretty easy victory, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, Max Emerald! Yes! Yes! This is so good. This is this is the card I was going for. This is awesome. This is the moment. Yeah, really happy with this. Let's explore some more. Okay, we get some more dice. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the dice. Now I'm getting a brass man. Oh, there's a there's a chest. Let's go for the chest. Okay, so you won the toss. Let's see what I have. Mountain, scimitar, taiga, lunar elves, trike. Tranquility and again a life force. So this is pretty good. I'm gonna go Taiga into Lanawar. The next turn I can play my life force. Uh, I'm gonna keep it untapped. Because I mean, I'm not gonna untap it next turn or the turn after, because then I'm gonna play Tranquility probably. So actually, I need to play Tranquility and then I gotta play life force. Frozen Shade. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Okay, let's go. Tranquility. Pass a turn. So next turn, I hope to draw into green. Mm, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Um, I could go scimitar. <coughs> Let's do that. Let's go scimitar. I'm go. I'm. I'm gonna be a little bit aggressive. Frozen shade, by the way, the original art. Um, it just looks like he's he's flying, right? I mean, you have all these creatures in old school where you think it flies, right? When you look at the art, but actually it doesn't, and the other way around. Like fallen angel, for example, she lost her wings and still she flies, which is weird. Oh, drain life. That is annoying. That means I cannot play out my trike next turn. That is super annoying. Um, let's attack. I'm gonna play Life Force, and I think I'm gonna play a Fireball for one. Why? Because now I can take out the Frozen Shade. I actually should have attacked here with the Brass Man, to be honest. Da, 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 drain life. Oh, that's annoying because you take your life loss with you to the next duel. Okay, let's just attack for two. Get you at least back to 14. And now I've got my life force, right? So now I can just counter everything away, every black spell. So if he tries to cast something, we're ready for it. Okay, yeah, exactly. Hey, countering away the Elijah. Oh, I'm forgetting to to untap the uh, the scimitar here. Oh, that's stupid. It's costing me a life point. Computer is thinking. Just gonna counter again. Hey, a Taiga, that's really good. The next turn I can play Trike. 
So we're going to attack for a total of two. Going to put them on 11. Let us let me just do something smart. Don't auto tap and don't auto tap. Why? Because if I cast, for example, the trike or untap the brass man, I don't want the computer to use any green mana. I need the green mana for the life force. He keeps trying to cast the Elajash. That is funny. Oh, forgot the brass man again. Jeez. Let's attack him. You know what? I'm going to give him an opening. I'm going to cast my trike. That means life force is offline, so... We'll, we'll see what he does. I mean, I can I can deal three with Trike, six with the two bolts, and he's on one, so... I need one life point. Let's untap the man. And let's attack with everything! Let's see what's gonna happen. And then we're gonna go bolt. And bolt and then two damage to the dome and then he should be dead there we go Ooh. you know what I'm, I'm gonna get another dice <laughs> I feel dicey Ooh, Shivan again I love I love I love getting all these Shivans um I'm just going to go straight. Vampire Lord. Okay. Play first. Okay, so I've got Mountain, Giant Spider, Pyrotechnics, Cockatrice, Forest, Lanawer, Elves, Gem So I'm going to go Forest into Lanawer. And I'm going to attack. Hey, no turn one. Okay, that's good news. No turn one play. So I'm just going to attack with Lanor and with the Shivan. I'm going to pump the Shivan up to six. Deal seven. So now he's on a, like a one turn clock. So he has to find an answer to the Shivan at least. Ooh, a ritual. Okay. Carrying ants. Not going to help, but it's a cool card. Okay, so we can just attack. Let's pump him. There we go. Ooh, okay, let me just get the, the last dice over there. And then I'm going to try to battle for the other treasure chest. Hey, Lana where else? Okay, that's actually pretty nice. I can play out my big Sheevans and all that other big stuff quicker. Let's battle. Play first. Ooh, a Loa. Okay, that's really good. Um, done. Let's play Loa. Let's just... That's all, right? We're just going to attack. Going to take it easy. And I can go next turn. I could maybe do Soul Ring Tranquility. That could be an option. Okay, let's see. What is wisdom? First draw a card for sure. Nice. Okay, so I can go this. And I should probably play Brass Man, right? Yeah, let's do that. Passes a turn. Again, I have Tranquility and Life Force. So you want to play Tranquility before you play Life Force, obviously. Okay, so I'm just going to draw another card. 
You know what I'm going to do? I have a trick. I'm going to show you. This is going to be fun. I'm going to attack. Oh, he's not going to block. I thought it would block on a pit scorpion and then it would play tranquility and the scorpion would die. Hmm. Unfortunate. That's going to cost me some damage, but okay. Because I really want to play the tranquility now so that next turn I can play a life force. There's the attack. Okay. Gonna drop to 21. Drain life! Oh no. Um, do I wanna untap? Yeah, why not? Go to seven cards, gonna draw a card. Um, eight in hand. Oh yeah, of course, Whirling Dervish. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Could have, should have attacked with Brass Man. That's a mistake. That is a mistake. Mmm, Merc Dwellers. That's a good card. Um, let's go seven in hand. Let's draw another card. Let's attack with the Whirling Dervish. Um, what else can we do? I can go this one. I should probably finally cast the uh, the Life Force, right? Or I could go Soul Ring and then next, I'm, I'm gonna go Soul Ring. I'm playing slow, people. I got all the time in the world. I wonder if he's just gonna go all in with the attacks. Okay, there's the hypnotic specter. Sure. Let's draw another card. Let's draw one. Okay. Um, let's first attack. I think pyrotechnics, to be honest. Although I could go cockatrice. I'll go cockatrice. Oh, this is stupid. Always first tap the soaring because now I'm getting mana burn. It's not smart. But hey, so far so good. I can't complain. Okay, seven. Let's draw another card. I think I'm gonna gonna end this battle pretty quick. Let me first just attack with these two. Cause then he's gonna go to five, and I think I can just play a really big fireball, right? Yeah, let's play. Let's play a big fireball. Amount of damage seven. We only need to do five. Amount of damage to done to each target, five. Okay, done. Am I getting mana burn now again? Because that's really stupid. Oh God, really? I'm getting mana burn before he dies? Yes. That is so annoying. Okay, uh, hey, Mox Sapphire. So I think that the last treasure is somewhere here, right? That would make sense. So I'm gonna play against the witch. Nineteen lives left. Ooh, that's a good, a good hand actually. I saw Soul Ring, Lanower Elves, Tranquility again, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go. Lunar Elves, and next turn I can go Soul Ring, play Tranquility, get rid of the Bad Moon. You know what? I'm not gonna get, uh, I'm not gonna take care of the Bad Moon just yet, because why would I? There is no rush. Maybe he's gonna play out some more enchantments, and my Tranquility can be more valuable. He's gonna play my Tome, gonna. Sit back. Yeah. 
Ritual. Okay, clay statue, pretty good. So I got some options. I could go for the bolt, and then I have, or I could, I, fireballs may be better. Although bolt, I'd like to keep fireball for kind of later in the game. Um, I guess I can now attack with the launderer and still have enough mana for the tome. Dervish. So far, so good. 19 versus 10. There's a willow. Okay, that's going to be annoying. I guess I have to play the Whirling Dervish for two. Yeah, let's do that. And let's do the Tranquility because we don't want to lose any more life. I mean, I could attack, but he's just going to block anyway. This is pass. Oh, the Whirling Dervish is so good. I mean, I only have one copy, but it's just awesome against these black decks. Scavenging Ghoul. Let's attack with this dude. Ooh, I should have... I'm missing an option here. I could have done some more. Um, yeah, let's 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 kill the Lanor Elf. I didn't realize that he tapped out completely for the ghoul. How does it work again with the counters? Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna kill the ghoul as well before it gets a corpse counter. Because then it can start regenerating. Scavenging Ghoul now, by the way, is a zombie. So you can play it in your zombie decks. I don't know if you want to, but <laughs> but it's it's possible. Oh, a disc. Oh, that's good. The disc is really good. Um, that's a problem. Let's just attack with everything. The disc is really a problem. Why am I not animating my factories? What's... Oh wait, I could have won already. I've got Fireball. Oh man, I'm... I need to focus. This was a good disc. It's not going to save you, but it was a good play. Okay, there we go. Tap two more and let's kill the witch. So where, so maybe behind, I'm getting an extra life, maybe behind here. Play first. Wait, what, 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 wait, wait a minute. Is there a library of Alexandria that I'm playing? Can I lose that? Oh God, that's really bad. Um, okay, I didn't realize. I'm not a little bit tense at the moment. I mean, if I, if I lose the Loa, that's a pretty big deal. I don't think I can get the Loa back, to be honest. Uh-oh. Oh, of course, Nipnotic Spectre. That's awesome for you. Oh, God. Um, I could at least cast Life Force and then... I've got Giant Spider, Cockatrice, and Dancing Scimitar. All three cards that can deal with the Hippie, so... Oh, I really don't want to lose this. Uh, no, I don't want to attack. Of course not. Um, I want to play a Giant Spider. Oh man, all of a sudden this game got really tense. 
when I saw like that I'm playing for the Loa, I'm like, what? And this is so annoying because now I got to keep playing out blockers for the Spectre. I'm not finding any lands. Oh God. Okay, I'm just gonna block again. Does he have another Howl from Beyond? Ah, of course you do. Ooh, it's not enough to kill. Okay. Um. Let's play tranquility. Oh no! Then I kill my own life. For oh. Okay, that was stupid. I admit it. That was really stupid. All I all I should have done was just pass turn. Oh no! Not the Thomas' wand. No. Then again, my hand's almost empty, so... Whatever, man. Um, although I really hope to keep... my trike, but I don't think so. Um, let's see what's gonna happen. Can't believe this. Thomas is wanting if not expect her. Are you kidding me? Oh god. I mean, is 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 this really happening? Asking the question, I guess, is answering the question. Um What should I do? Should I just attack with like everything? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it anyway. I'm just gonna attack, whatever. You take my trike, put me on nine. I don't care. I just don't want to lose this. Please don't play out something else that flies, please. Just don't. Merc Dwellers, okay. Um, I wonder if I'm like, do I, should I offer the trade for the Dwellers? Because the thing is, my deck's full of, well, full of six drops, but there are some good six drops, like the Trike, but also the Sheevan Dragons, so that could really save my ass. Mm, I'm on nine. This is difficult. I'm actually not going to attack. Oh, of course, he's going to use it on that and then going to take four. Oh, this is so bad. I'm going to lose to Thomas's wand. I'm going to lose my Loa. I don't want to lose my Loa. Please give me some direct damage. Give me something. Oh, Forest is not good enough. Gonna drop to one next turn. I gotta do something. You know what? I'm just gonna animate. Animate this dude. Oh god, this is really bad. It's bad and it's funny at the same time. Donis is want and Merc dwellers. You gotta love it. Um, attacking with everything right now. Really? Am I then just dead? I don't think so. I'm on five. Okay. Uh, choose blockers. I don't know if this is a good block, by the way. I don't. I mean, I'm still gonna die to Thomas's wand activation, but oh, pyrotechnics! That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. But pyrotechnics is five to cast. Let's see. City of Brass. Don't auto tap because I'm gonna die. Um, I can deal four, so I can kill one, two, 
three and four. I think this pyrotechnics has given me one more turn. Oh, I really don't want to lose the Loa. I really don't want to lose the Loa. God. I'm on one. No drain life. No drain life. Oh, God. The problem is I was winning so much. I was getting cocky. Crawl worm. Okay, it's cool that I have a crawl worm, but I cannot cast it because I've got one life. And I cannot tap my City of Brass. And I mean... Oh, God. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm just hoping that maybe if I attack with the Assembly Worker, something happens in the AI that it dis decides miraculously not to use the Thomas' Wand. And this is why you always need to play Crumble if you play green. Oh, God. This is... Okay, okay. It's also kind of funny, isn't it? I mean, Thomas is wand with El Hashash and killing me that way. That's kind of funny. Okay, so I'm getting uh, kicked out. Um, yeah, what can I say? This is a bit... Dumper, dumper, dumper? In Dutch you say domper. I don't think domper is a word. It's just saying domper with an English accent. But it means, um, you know, it's kind of this, yeah, this bad feeling at the end of actually what was a really good run. I mean, I've got I've got a Mox Sapphire. I've got a Mox Emerald, which is really nice. Um, you know what? I'm just going to save. I'm going to take a moment for myself uh, uh, to try to think about this. And, uh, yeah. I mean, what can I say? Tanis's wand and El Hajash. That's that is pretty impressive. Thank you to Samba Kazee!